Okay, let's try this in one take. Hey, good evening, uh, knife enthusiasts from around the world. This is uh, Baxter's Blades, the tired tiger here. Exceptionally tired today. You have to move things around. I uh, uh, worked on putting uh, some sign frames up. Greenwood up here in the northwest. And uh, then I proceeded to come home and tear down my motorcycle shop to build a new one. Anyhow... Um, I'm here to give thanks for uh, more than a few channels. Um, unfortunately, I only have uh, one sticker, maybe two. Um, there's a few knife channels that have uh, been really nice to me. Always responded to everything I've, you know, commented about. Always been there for me. Um, I'm just going to try to make this short. I could go on and on and on. Uh, and I got to do another video on how I got into doing knife reviews in the first place. Never thought I would be doing it. I just liked uh, making nice little shorts with little songs. So anyways, let's just start this off. Um, I want to give thanks to uh, JB at Big Red EDC. This is for him. He uh, showed me this knife, and all these knives, uh, I'm going to do, I just got some of them. I'm going to do reviews on them later. I'm not going to do them tonight. This is for Big Red. He showed me this uh, Rough Rider Reserve, and it blew my mind. Um, I have not liked any of the Rough Rider Reserves. Nothing about them. I like Rosecraft. I like Rough Riders. Uh, this one blew my mind. And, of course, I just got it. Very happy. Um, anyways, JB. Long story. Uh, he's one of the first channels I was really into. I liked his personality. I liked the knives that he reviewed. Um, he had mentioned that uh, during... Uh, he was reviewing an automatic knife. And he's like, oh, yeah, these aren't legal in, in Washington. And I'm like, are you from Washington, D.C. or Washington State? Well, he's from the same state that I'm in. And and lucky enough, he lives right across the pond. He's just right across the sound from me. And uh, very cool. I, I like him so much. Uh, he just, the knives he reviews, he, he does a combination of uh, traditional and modern and, um, anyways, one of the first channels that I really could get behind and really love the guy. And I, you know, I even said, Hey, when you go to the knife show, can you uh, stop by the Rosecraft booth? And what does he do? He stops by the Rosecraft booth and show me, shows me the exact knife that I want to see. Great guy. I'm most of you have heard of him. Um, if you haven't check out his channel, uh, number two on the list. I don't have any other stickers here, so um, this is for Randy WSG. Need to get some stickers. Uh, here's a Roper Greenbone Small Trapper. He has the Greenbone Stockman. Uh, Randy's been awesome. He checks out my pages, he comments, he's there, he's just a really nice guy. Um, I don't know how much to say about it, but he's just genuine. A really cool guy. And uh, he's really helped me with a lot of things when I have questions about how to do this or how to do that. He gives me the answers and just says, you know, just go with it. Um, so, this is for Randy. Um, boy, boy, we, this is going to be a long video. Um, RJ's Knives. My fellow uh, Trapper brother. Um, I started watching his videos on Ropers. He's got a lot of Ropers. I've gotten into Ropers. They're really good knives. He sh was showing me some cases. Um, I'd gotten a few cases, and they were bad. They were bunk. This is actually the second trapper I got. The first one had blade wrap, and uh, it was rubbing against the liners. So this one's good so far. He said, uh, just keep at it. You, maybe you'll get a good one. And he was right. 
uh, he's reached out to me. He's like, hey, you want to come on my live stream? And uh, his timing couldn't be any worse because somewhere around here, I want to just ride motorcycles. I want to go out and play in the sun. I don't want to be cooped up indoors. Um, so I told him, let me get my setup hooked up like this, which I finally got. But uh, maybe fall or winter, I'd love to go live on RJ's Knives with all the good folks on there. So yeah, case CV Trapper. Um, got another one here. Big J's Knives. Uh, he's been really cool. Also has checked out my videos. Always comments. Always answers anything, any questions I have to ask of him. Uh, a fellow Buck brother, should I say. Uh, this is the Slim Select, or Slim Pro, excuse me, in my Carta. I was going to bust out the 110, but probably would be, would have been too big. Um, great guy. God, he has so many cool knives. Uh, he's just, again, very genuine. And and a, just a good person in the community. And he was he's, he's there. You know, I just started. I wasn't even trying to start a knife channel. And these guys are, you know, reaching out. They're very cool. Um, so, uh, the last one would be, uh, Thrifty Knifty, and, and he's cool, he checks out my, my stuff, he answers my questions, he, he's, he's pretty awesome, he's not a Trapper fan, uh, he's a Roper fan, he's showed me so many things, he's a very nice guy, so this is for Thrifty, it's a Trapper that does not have a spay blade, it is the Roper, Three bladed um, zebra wood scales, and I should probably put them away because because it's thrifty. Uh, he gets two knives because he has so many damn knives, and uh, I just love going to his channel and seeing his reviews. Uh, he was one of the first people I went to check out, and he reviewed this knife. And it's the Rough Rider uh, Cinnamon Stag uh, and Carbon. And so this is for him. Thank you very much, Thrifty. Uh, you're an inspiration to all of us. And uh, last but not least, um, let's see if I can do this here. My ode to Brian at Blue Creek Knives. You can see all the stickers over here. Uh, it's one of my first knives I got from Blue Creek. Uh, the Rosecraft Little River Bend Skinner. Um, this place will be missed. I hope uh, Brian is doing well. I hope he um, succeeds at whatever he decides to take on. But this is uh, very sad for me because this was uh, pretty much my favorite of all the knife stores to shop at. Um, he was just super awesome. There's, granted, there's a lot of great knife places out there. I could just list them on and on. White Mountain, uh, White Mountain Knives, um, Traditional Pocket Knives. I could just go on and on. There's a lot of great places, but Blue Creek holds a special place in my heart. He, would respond every time if I had an issue with anything, he would make it right instantly. And um, he actually, s I ordered a um, Clinch River Swayback, and for some reason I got an Appalachian Dra Jack. Uh, which is funny because on the box it said Clinch River Swayback. And I opened the box and I was like, oh. And he felt really bad, and he didn't even ask me to send the knife back. But I, because I loved his company so much, was like, you know, send me a return label. I'm sending this back. I'd love to keep it, but I did not order this. And uh, he did. And he was uh, really awesome. Uh, these stickers, I'm going to save them forever. 
So anyways, uh, just a moment to give thanks. I'm trying not to be too long. There's so much I want to talk about, and I will have to do that on another video. So um, thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Um, again, I, I don't want to get into it. I'm, I'm not trying to get a bunch of subscribers. I guess that's the goal. I'm, I don't, I don't know. I, I just like showing some knives. Um, I'd gotten to 90 su subscribers yesterday and, uh, now it's down to 87 and I, and it's possible people might have realized, hey, maybe I don't want to be a part of this channel and they unsubscribed. Um, so, you know, th that can happen, but, um, I'm not, I don't know if I want to push too hard. I don't, I don't know. I maybe need to talk to some of these guys a little bit more and ask them about their experience, but, um, they've opened my eyes to a lot of other people out there. Like, you know, I, I could throw a knife out there for Patty's Potato Peelers and Slip Joint Sawyer, and there's so many good people in the community, and, uh, I just really appreciate them all. Uh, so thank you very much, and, uh, don't mind the shake here. Have a good night.